it is one of our son's greatest loves to know what is going to happen at all times. He hates surprises, like really, really hates them. This is why he wants to know what he'll be wearing ahead of time and what we'll be eating next week, and he cannot stand unwrapping gifts unless we tell him what's inside first. As he was checking things off his list this year, he wanted to talk about some seasonal family traditions, which has been tricky thanks to coronavirus. For about a month, he's been naming the months of the year and asking about decorations. We tried to verify, yes, we will be putting up decorations for those holidays in those months. Well, that wasn't quite good enough. We didn't understand what information was missing, and he was quite frustrated. Finally, he added the word pork to his message. Confusing? Actually, brilliant. Since he didn't have access to the word he wanted, he found one that sounded similar to get his point across. That is a major smart thing to do. When I said, do you mean porch? He was very enthusiastic in his affirmation. We immediately added the word porch to his speech app, and now many conversations have centered around putting decorations on the porch for upcoming holidays. P.S. It's not the first time he's used a word that sounds like the word he really wants to try to get us to understand him. He does it semi-frequently. My favorite being when he kept asking us for mozzarella ice cream. When he really wanted vanilla. We added the word vanilla, so he uses it correctly now, but I'm still actively wondering if anyone makes mozzarella ice cream because I think it might be amazing. Or not. But how will I ever know if I don't get the chance to try it?